In this video, I'm going to show you how to perform your first viscosity measurement. If you have not yet watched the videos on microvis precautions or sample loading, please go watch those before attempting this step. The microvis chip and the waste container have already been loaded into the instrument. Take your sample, in this case a simple solvent, isopropanol, and load it into your instrument like so. For your first test, I strongly recommend something simple such as isopropanol or the included 1% aquat solution. Once the sample has been loaded into the instrument, turn the instrument on using the power switch on the left hand side. The instrument will take several moments to initialize. Once it displays load sample and press run, we can go ahead and press run. Now, the instrument will go through several steps to perform the viscosity measurement. It will first seek out the microvisc plunger. It will pause several moments for sample relaxation once the plunger has been contacted. It will then prime the chip using the sample inside the pipette and it will then go on to perform the viscosity measurement itself. By default, when we press run stop after turning the instrument on, the instrument will start in automatic mode. In this mode, it will automatically determine the appropriate shear rate for your sample during the priming step. If your sample is Newtonian, this is an excellent mode to perform your testing as it provides all the information you will need. However, if your sample is non-Newtonian, you may have to perform multiple measurements at different shear rates. This we will cover in our next video when discussing different microvisc modes of operation. Once the measurement has been completed, the instrument will display several pieces of data. It will display the viscosity, the temperature, the shear rate, and the sample volume consumed for the measurement. Please note that the first run with any pipette will require priming, consuming more sample volume than subsequent runs with the same pipette. Once you have tested a sample, make sure to clean it with at least one pipette of appropriate solvent. Please join me for the next video where we will discuss the more advanced features of the microvisc.